Hi, hi everyone. Um, another presentation from Rancho Biosciences. Um, a very quick um, introduction of our um, modification to Transmart that is catering to um, bioinformatician crowd, hopefully, or people who are interested in um, a little bit more advanced analysis of their data sets. So the typical questions that um, people um, try to answer when they use Transmart are, can we identify prognostic biomarkers, for example, disease progression biomarkers in our data set or in our data sets? Um, and also a second um, question is how these biomarkers behave in different cohorts of people or in different studies, and that's um, an exact parallel to the talk that Eugene just presented, and uh, he showed how uh, another team solved this, this question. But basically, uh, when you're trying to answer these questions, you, um, you really do need curated data for uh, multiple data sets, and you can often face a situation where you have your hypothesis generated on your proprietary data set, and maybe you are lacking data, and you would like to take advantage of publicly available data sets and test your hypothesis in these data sets. And there is no argument that having more data, especially if it's clean and curated data, um, is good. And it always uh, helps you to uh, progress through your uh, hypothesis validation faster. So basically what we thought of doing is um, a fairly simple thing. So we said, okay, so you know, data curation is expensive as, as was mentioned several times here, uh, why, why don't we allow people to stretch the value of their already curated data sets and make their the sets portable between different platforms? Um, and one of their most obvious choices uh, to try this kind of um, approach would be um, a, a commercial platform that a lot of bioinformaticians use, and it's called Array Studio Biomics Soft. Um, I don't know how many people in this audience use that. Do we have users? Yeah, okay, good. Uh, and so, um, again, the idea was that once you've already done the upfront work of data curation, why not to take advantage of that? So there, the workflow is very simple for what we have done. We um, curate the data set, we load it into Transmart, then uh, the idea is that you can preliminary inspect your data set for any trends, top level hypotheses and the like using um, fairly simple but very user friendly Transmart workflows. And then once you have your hypothesis, you can port that data set very smoothly into, for, for deeper exploration into Omics Soft. So again, the process is fairly straightforward. And what we've done here to demonstrate the utility, unfortunately, I cannot do the live demo because of different firewalls implications, but um, I do have screenshots to show. So we download the data set from um, uh, some place. We curate the file. We, um, uh, we curate the data. So we basically uh, also, um, you know, when we're doing the curation, we add data from, um, supplementary materials associated with the paper from lateral publications. Um, we upload the data into Transmart, then we mine the data um, in Transmart, and then we port it over to Omics Soft for any uh, deeper analysis. Just a note on why we actually do need data curation. So this is an example of their data set that many of you know quite well. This is the GSC 7390, which is a breast cancer study. It is an excellent study uh, from uh, Veridex was used to develop, or that was the data that was used to develop a 76 gene prognostic signature for breast cancer metastasis. Um, this is how the data looks in geo. So uh, you obviously have the um, uh, metadata that is coded in addition, you have a data that is coded. That is a very common problem with public data sets, including the ADNI study and the, the PPMI data set that was mentioned here yesterday. 
Um, so what we do is we decode that and uh, clean up the data because in this particular set there is a mistake um, in the geo repository. So after the curation, the data set looks like that, and that is actually the format that it go um, in what that is used to load the study into Transmart. So this is our um, internal um, installation. So here you see that data set and um, the, the typical Transmart ontology for that. So what we've done is we created this button here that exports um, the Omics soft project. And both um, gene expression data in this case and the clinical data set, uh, and the clinical data that has been curated, I exported in one file. Um, that you can immediately open in Array Studio. So this is the same, the, the whole thing takes about five seconds to do. And so you um, are able to view the data in Omicsoft that is already curated, okay? So I know it's very small, but the presentation is gonna be online. So basically, this is the, the same columns that you saw before. The set is curated and ready for exploration. And um, then you, of course, can take advantage of um, commercial grade visualization tools and customizable workflows in Omicsoft. One of my most favorite things to do is to do their really good PCA analysis. Uh, because, for example, in this case, you can very easily see that well, it's not quite shown here, but we know that um, there are some samples that ought to be excluded just based on the quality of the data, and then actually you will start seeing really good heat maps, um, and that is, again, to their um, situation that was described in the previous presentation when in Transmart, what you often see when you port the gene signature from one study to another that you start losing their you know, the uh, clustering, for example, that sometimes is due to the poor quality data, sometimes only a few samples in there, in the data that you ought to exclude. And Omicsoft is, of course, perfect for uh, identifying those and excluding these. So again, this is the, the simplified wor workflow for this kind of uh, situation. And I think that was <laughs> a very, um, um, simple introduction, we do offer um, live demos if anybody's interested uh, of how that actually works. Um, we, we need to get out of this firewall to, to be able to open a few um, uh, connections uh, on the internet. But again, the, uh, the bottom line here is that um, this particular integration allows people to take advantage of their curated data sets, whatever data you already have in Transmart, can be now explored in Omicsoft. And also, as you know, Omicsoft um, has also done quite a bit of development for um, integrative data analysis. So they have capabilities to analyze NGS data. And so uh, this particular integration is capable of exporting that data types as well. So everything that you see in Transmart that you have invested in curation can be um, analyzed in Omicsoft with more precision and better visualizations, making data ready for your pu publications, hopefully. And that is it. <laughs> Any questions? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, thank you. I think it's... Uh indeed very useful. Um, I have a question. So right now the button to export to Array Studio is in the cohort selection window. Uh, so it means, if I understood correctly, that you define which subjects you will export, but then you export every data, all the nodes of the study, or at least all the clinical nodes, for example, uh, and the high dimension data. So you have two options. You can either export the whole study just um, making notations, for example, if you did prior data exploration and you, let's say, found some trend that you want to follow up with, and that's my case study, which I unfortunately cannot show live, 
for example, with regards to tumor grade, mm -hmm. you just take a mental notation of that, and then when you go to Omics Soft, you select these samples and start drilling in. There is another way to do that. You can actually create two subsets and export it as such. They will get labeled as such in Omics Soft as well. Mm -hmm. So we've uh, slightly extended that um, feature of the export. So if you don't want to bother with remembering what you want to explore, you can just do the two cohorts and export them like that. Yeah, because another way I thought could be useful is to take advantage of the export tab in the version 1.2. Um, now you, it's based on the cohorts as well, but yeah. you can also drag and drop single nodes into the different categories, and so you would be able in this way to, to select certain variables that you want to export yeah. to Omicsoft. Yeah, we, we, we're hoping to gain more user feedback and collect that. So most people prefer to export the whole thing because it, it gives you the advantage of curate, curated set. But of course, you know, as we move along, as hopefully this thing gets um, adopted by people and it's, it's, it's very simple, but it's an obvious connect, connection that um, I think is needed for yeah. people who are interested in a little bit deeper no, yeah, data yeah. analysis yeah, sure. yeah so we will we will probably implement those yeah no because Just from to... from the export tab you could also without dragging nodes you know export everything but you could also by right. dragging nodes selecting <laughs> right, only right, specific right. nodes so, so just emulate add, that functionality it would not here. lose yeah. any functionality yeah. but add this uh, selection capabilities yeah that would be a good extension yeah mm -hmm. thank you sure Any, um, any other plans to expand for the new capabilities in 1.2, say for like cross study? Um, that, that, that probably could be done. Um, so we, um, this integration actually works in 1.2 as well. Mm -hmm. So the, the technology behind it is relatively simple. So I wouldn't, um, I mean, it, I, I wouldn't think it would be difficult to extend that to do cross studies. Uh, once we have that functionality fully available in 1.2. Uh, so the, yes, and also the, you know, we're thinking about the um, integration both ways, which is, um, so which is the, another obvious next step. So no, that is coming. <laughs>